Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and a little bit ago I made a video talking about how to practice Widowmaker on console, and it really does warm my heart because I saw tons of support on that video. I know that sounds kind of corny, but I love just putting out a video just helping you guys out, and you even asked for more videos like that. I got tons of comments asking for another hero practice guide, or just how to practice a certain type of hero in Overwatch. And I don't know what videos or just heroes you want to see from me in the future, just leave down your suggestions down below of another practice method with a certain type of hero, how I play them. But for this video, I just thought I would just show you guys how to practice Genji. Now I want to make a few disclaimers before I get deeper in the video that I kind of saw on the last Widowmaker video lots of comments saying oh the best way to practice a hero is just going into quick play and while that is true I feel like you have to get a little bit more comfortable with the hero before you even get into quick play because the old saying goes play the hero you're most comfortable with but what if you're not even comfortable going into quick play with a certain type of hero and then you get all discouraged you don't want to play that hero because I remember playing Genji and just getting so mad at myself because I didn't figure out how I wanted to play Genji so that's what this video is to show you is how you should play Genji what I mean by that is just sensitivity reticle just getting the whole toolkit and mechanics down for Genji the second disclaimer I want to make is that this isn't really gonna be a Genji guide I'm not gonna show you tips and tricks on like hiding spots or where to jump up and down and when you need to attack no I'm just gonna show you basic mechanic skills how you should set up your settings for Genji and everything like that and the third and last disclaimer that I want to make is that I am NOT a pro Genji lots of people on my last Genji video saying how Genji is so hard. I even said I'm not a good Genji and people still called me trash. It's like, okay, you can't win, but either way, th this video isn't for them. This video is for the people that are wanting to learn and wanting to practice and just improve themselves. So hopefully I can help with this video, just show you guys how to just get a little bit more comfortable with Genji. That's the main mentality I want you to keep throughout this whole entire video is that you're not going to be a Genji pro right after watching this video, but it's going to get you a little bit more comfortable and just with repetition and practice because that's all Genji is about just repetition and practice and practice and practice so hopefully this video is, uh, does help let's get in the video I wasted too much time once again so like a lot of my training methods are gonna start here in the arcade and you're gonna have to go into custom games now I already have a game set up for this training method right here and this is the beauty about this is that you're gonna be able to save it so right here it's gonna be called Genji practice and you can see all the presets that I have right here on the right but I'm just gonna show you from a clean slate now starting off with the AI and this can go like a lot of different ways with the Widowmaker training guide or like just improve your aim you're just gonna be using Onabots but with Genji a big part about him is that you're gonna be deflecting a lot of bullets duh that's a, like I mean obviously but what's a hero like that well you can't really use on it you you can honestly there's a lot of different heroes that you can use but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna go with soldier 76 so you can change the difficulty to anything it really doesn't change all too much but I, let's just keep it easy for right now the more advanced you get with Genji you can up the difficulty but this is gonna be really important just keep the count at four you don't want to be overwhelmed and if you're just gonna have a bunch of soldier 76s around you you're not really aiming for one certain soldier you're just kind of free aiming and just throwing your stars so having four one you're not gonna be overwhelmed and two you're gonna be able to actually aim for a certain type of target right there and then for a team just add right there add and boom there's your soldiers so here where things are gonna get a little bit more special with Genji because again you want to make these settings specifically for Genji and soldier 76 at least with improve your aim you just have to change settings for on so we're gonna go into settings you don't have to change anything for these two tabs right here but you're gonna go into modes you're gonna turn assault off assault escort off you're gonna turn control off you're gonna turn skirmish on and you're gonna turn escort off luckily unlike the Widowmaker training method you don't have to have a control map on you can just have skirmish and just have soldiers just running all around so go into settings right here turn game start just to immediately right here health pack respawn time again this is gonna help you with Genji and you're not gonna be turning on receive headshots only you're gonna see later on the video but just turn the health pack time just say about 70% they're spawning a little bit faster but not too fast the thing with soldier AIs is that if you just have it straight off at like how far you can go 10% they're literally just gonna stand on the health packs I tried doing it with 10% and they were just waiting for the health packs to respawn and I wasn't able to kill them so just turn it to 70 that way that they can still go for the health packs but they just won't be hugging them right there then right here you don't really need to change anything uh, but respawn time you want to change that all the way to 5% so you can't change it to zero. I just like to have it at five percent So now that we got that out of the way now I'm gonna go to an easy part you want to just do it for any type of map I always do it on Kings Row. That's just my training area You can't do it for like Hollywood But luckily with Kings Row there's health packs right there at the little statue area and soldiers can just run around in that little area They're not really gonna go on top of the buildings or anything like that So that's a little cool thing about Kings Row and why I always go there now here are where things are gonna get really really spicy so if 
if you want to just go to uh, just Soldier 76 right here, you're going to turn Biotic Field off. You're going to turn Helix Rocket off. You, you you can turn it on, but personally, I just like to have just straight off bullets coming from Soldier 76. You want to leave Sprint on. Quick Melee, you want to turn off. Unlimited Ability, you just want to turn that off. You don't want them to have Tac Visor or anything. You're not going to change their health. You're not going to change their damage. And you're not going to turn on Receive Headshots. So the reason why... I, okay, so this is where you're going to probably cheat yourself. But again, a good thing about Genji is that he's able to deflect bullets. But if they're not going to be really going towards the head then you're not getting the full experience i'm trying to make this as realistic as a game scenario as possible so uh, turning on headshots as i normally would with like improve your aim or widow maker you wouldn't really do and you're going to see later on in game but deflecting bullets nine times out of ten they're not going to go towards the head they're going to go towards the body and that's the main reason why you want to leave that off and then everything just leave on right there now we're going to go to genji so you're not you're going to just leave that on leave that leave that leave that leave everything except for unlimited generated uh, un ultimate generation for dragon blade i kind of butchered that you're going to turn that all the way to 500 percent because another thing you want to practice with genji is his ultimate obviously you're not going to just be popping his dragon blade every two seconds but maybe you just want to practice your your dragon blade against heroes because one thing that i kind of struggle with is just slicing and dicing people damage dealt damage receive everything you're just going to leave on even receive headshots only because again you're trying to recreate this as po as game realistic scenario as possible and everything else you're just going to leave right there. Actually, one thing you you might want to change a little bit is his health. So, you want to maybe change it to like 150 this way he has. I think that's 150 350 health and then a healing received you want to change all the way to 500% that's one thing I kind of forgot so again there is a lot of settings that you had to change for like just those two heroes you can do Reaper you can do Roadhog but for the sake of this video I just want to go with Soldier 76 but a good thing you can press LB and it's LB on the PlayStation 4 and you can just name it anything here I can just name it uh, straight up just Genji right there save it and then you can just save it like that and boom now it's there forever you just have to go here and there's genji and then now we're going to go into the actual game and start the actual training so now you're actually in the genji training method and again try not to cheat yourself always try to aim for the head when you're throwing your stars and just try to get into a repetition this is a time where you're just going against the soldier 76 you don't have the pressure of your teammates whether you're in competitive or even just in quick play or 3v3 there's no pressure it's literally just you and the training soldier 76 sixes and this is a time where you can change your settings change your reticle for me with genji the higher the sensitivity the better but even with me i'm at 60 horizontal and 40 vertical i can still even go higher when i'm playing genji and that's something you're gonna have to change with genji is that the best genji players are always the ones with a higher sensitivity they don't really have this low of a sensitivity because they're gonna be just going back and forth between here and here they're gonna be flipping around whenever you dash you're gonna have to turn around just finish them off with the star just finish them off with the knife anything that goes with Genji it's probably gonna be a higher sensitivity so that's probably the biggest tip that I can give you but in terms of this that you just got to get in a repetition and the way that I always do it is I always try to deflect the bullets and then throw my stars just in a straight line and dash turn around and finish, finish them off with the knife or just finish off them off with the fan the shurikens and that's just the repetition I always try to get into so you're gonna just see me do that throughout this whole entire training method there's gonna be some times where I throw the fans and then I dash there's gonna be times where I dash deflect and then throw my stars a lot of that but again this whole whole entire method is just to help you get comfortable and to help you not get so angry because I'm sure we've all tried to play Genji and we got really pissed off because we kept dying from the enemy team. We su switched to like Zarya, or switched to Roadhog, we switched to like Soldier 76 because we got so pissed off with Genji and we just totally destroyed them all and then we totally ditched Genji because hey, we're discouraged, we're never going to learn him but at least with this, this is going to help you just get the right Genji mindset. I saw a comment on my why Genji is so hard and it was from this Genji main who, ha who said that you have to get the right Genji mindset you actually have to play Genji not let Genji play you and I thought that was so perfect and just a good way to put it because Genji is not one of those heroes that's easy to pick up and that's even easier to master someone like Soldier 76 you just really have to have good mechanical skills and a little bit of game knowledge when it comes to Genji you have to have good mechanical skills you have to have good game knowledge and you have to be in a ton of different scenarios to be able to determine okay do I actually go in the fight okay do I actually come out of the fight when do I need healing do I go to the health pack you actually have to know where every single health pack is because 
say you need healing and both your healers are dead, but there's only two enemies on the on the enemy team that you can easily take out. Well, you have to know where the nearest health pack is so you can go and take those two enemies out and then capture the point. Those are just some things I can just try to just tell you guys about Genji because again, this is a good way to practice, but this won't really master Genji for you. You actually have to go into quick play, but again, you can't really go into quick play and master him without getting a good feel of how you want to play Genji, what the right settings are, the sensitivity, everything goes in Genji I think can be solved with this training method. And there's going to be some Genji mains out there that says, oh, this is so stupid, I learned him through quick play. Okay, then why are you watching a video of how to practice Genji on console? So, I don't know, that was just my thoughts and my opinions, but again, let me know if this video helped and let me know if any other heroes that you want to see me do as terms of like just hero guides or maybe just how to practice a certain type of hero because we already did Widowmaker, we already did Genji, maybe I can do a Soldier 76 or maybe I can even do a Mei or a Torbjorn or I don't know, maybe even a Symmetra. I would like to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions. So, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, it's a process. Please do not discourage. It just takes practice. Genji is one of those heroes that, yes, uh, practice will get you closer to mastering him, but again, you got to go into quick play and actually play him a bunch to get a good feel for him. So, love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.